You guys asked me a lot of questions, so it's time for you to answer some of my questions now. Just kidding. Let's find out about hedge funds today. Here we go. I'm starting to sound a lot like Dora the Explorer. Let's go find out about hedge funds together. It's like Brian the investment banker. Uh, I tried. What is a hedge fund? Well, according to Google, a hedge fund is an investment fund that trades in relatively liquid assets and is able to make extensive use of more complex trading, portfolio construction, and risk management techniques to improve performance such as short selling leverage and derivatives. Huh. What does that mean? Essentially, hedge fund is a form of investing, similar, but not really similar, kind of different to the private equity video I made earlier, linked here, where a fund takes private capital from high net worth individuals, organizations, pulls them together and creates a fund, a hedge fund. And instead of investing in private equity instruments, typically private equity deals with owning companies through LBOs, purchasing entire companies and selling them later. Hedge funds deal with the public market like stocks or bonds or debt instruments, fixed income. They also deal with private instruments as well, but they're most widely known for selling and trading stocks or stock-like instruments. For those of you not in the finance space, those of you not as aware of the finance space, the most relevant current day example of a hedge fund in popular media is the show Billions with Bobby Axelrod. AxCap is a hedge fund that deals with public equity. They also do derivatives and the whole lot. But essentially, a hedge fund takes rich people money or fund money from retirement accounts, pension accounts, it's not the same thing, and then uses various strategies, which I'll go into later, to make even more money based on the market at large. At this point, for those especially not interested in the hedge fund space, not in the finance world, just following me for kicks and giggles, you might think, what hedge, I've never even heard of a hedge fund. You honestly might've heard of a private equity fund, but maybe you've never heard of a hedge fund. So just for your benefit, go ahead and Google just to see how much money these guys have. Here's a list of top 10 hedge funds from this list I found online based on how much money that they manage. Bridgewater Associates, Renaissance Technologies, Man Group, Millennium, Elliott, BlackRock, Two Sigma, TCI Fund, Citadel, and infamously where the great Jeff Bezos started, D.E. Shaw. Hedge funds are also sometimes, many times in the finance world, revered as this top of the notch, the end all be all of places where everyone aspires to be at a hedge fund just because it sounds sexy. You're trading and selling stocks. You're taking different positions on debt instruments and bonds and trying to make big amounts of money. You're handling billions of dollars. But also I think there is an opinionated, more intellectual portion to it where in banking and in traditional private equity, in general, you're valuing companies. You are overall understanding the in-depthness of a portfolio company, building it together and still relatively client facing in a way. Also in banking and in private equity, it's very firm focused as a whole. You're trying to do well, generate returns as a whole. The portfolios are owned by the company itself. Of course, partners and other employees can have buy-ins into the fund, but essentially the fund owns the companies that the private equity companies own. Whereas hedge funds, yes, the hedge fund of course owns the assets, the stocks, the bonds, the debt instruments that it owns. But in a way, especially compared to banking and private equity, it's a bit more cutthroat, but also a meritocracy in the sense that these portfolio managers, the PMs own their own portfolio of stocks and debt instruments. There is a very evident scoring card to be held because most if not all the instruments that they deal with are priced daily, if not, every second. So you're aware that, that your specific portfolio is doing better than the other PM's portfolio. There's an exciting component to it. There is a very stressful component to it. That's what kind of sets it apart from the other finance role slash firms. If we view banking and private equity as relative similar skill set in the sense that you're valuing companies on the sell side of the banking space, you're trying to wrap companies in a nice box and make it seem like the best company ever and sell it. On the private equity side, their job is to decipher between the wrapping and decide what has boop inside and what is actually good to buy. Hedge fund is a slightly different skill set. I think they're a bit more analytical. They gotta really dig into these public company financials, different market trends, industry trends, and make sure that this company is worth buying. On the flip side, the fun part of hedge funds that I think private equity and banking probably loses out on is the idea of being able to short something or bet against something. If you're aware that some company is probably not gonna do well, given circumstances, you can make money off of that. So it allows you to be slightly more opinionated than the other spheres, given that you can win in both a win and a lose scenario of the underlying asset. 
I think skill set wise, it is similar that it is still finance. You have to do financial analysis, but you're definitely not doing LBOs anymore. It's more of a public company, 10K, 10Q, earnings report analysis, industry research, and being able to really take ownership of the stocks or the names have under your management, making sure you're able to decipher when you need to buy more of a position, cut some of your position, so on and so forth. Because you're really trying to take ownership of these names, you have to be comfortable talking to the different individuals at that company to understand their company better. And as you take further ownership of the names, I'm sure you're, you're jumping on a call with C-level executives to really understand the company's standing and whether or not it's valuable enough, it's worth to make an investment. And on the flip side of that, I mentioned it briefly earlier, but you obviously need your analytical skills. Now coding is really relevant, data analysis, in-depth research. As you grow in your career, you get to understand the field better, the subsector more, and become the expert in salt and pepper shaker industry. The same way that private equity varies in their strategies and the types of assets slash instruments that they invest in, hedge funds also have a wide variety of strategies. I'm probably going to miss some, but these are the ones that I'm aware of. Long, short equity. Hedge funds take positions on public stock and their derivatives. Decide whether or not they want to go long or short on a position. So if they believe that a company's going to do well, keep buying it and ride the wave and wait for it to shoot the moon and get to the top value. If they think a company's going to do poorly in the future, they're going to hedge against it. They're going to bet against the stock and make money if the company actually does poorly. There are credit funds. This space I'm not as aware of, but essentially they work with debt instruments. And they try to look at what the finance world calls inefficiencies in the lending market, whether it's fixed income, corporate debt, bank debt. Then as I mentioned before earlier with the software engineering thing, there's arbitrage. So they're quickly selling and buying stocks to make money off the incremental differences. If they know that a company's gonna dip a little bit in price and then go up right after, they're gonna buy it at the low and sell it right at the up. So maybe there's not insane upsides, but they're getting a lot of what they call arbitrage value over and over and over again and have it accumulate to a bigger sum. There's also global macro funds. It's exactly what it sounds like. They bet on huge trends, country level trends, where a country's gonna do well, they invest heavily in the overall market of, the, of that country, if that's global macro. There's also event driven funds. So this is similar to arbitrage where they look at specific events that are about to happen, that have happened. They calculate whether or not that event's gonna bring the value down, bring the value up a certain amount and make bets based on that. In many funds, many big funds, there's multi-strategy funds where they take an accumulation of everything I just mentioned and more and make money off various strategies because they can afford to do so, they have the manpower to do so, and they have enough money to roll around. Well, my thought, and probably an old school thought, I think people should just think about what they have in front of them and work the hardest at what they have, but it would be a lame finance video if I did not talk about exit ops. I think once you get to a hedge fund, exit ops are limited compared to banking and even private equity in the sense that you're getting a pretty unique skill set, your ability to take positions on these equity assets in-depth analysis on these specific companies and buy into them, hedge against them. As you move to the buy side, quite logically, you become more narrowed into the skill set, especially if you become the salt and pepper shaker industry, long, short equity, mid cap stock specific person. It's probably a bit harder to translate those skills to something else. But as I always say, I think if you're in a high intensity environment and you're getting a skill set of data analysis, talking to people about the data, convincing people to invest in your ideas, that could probably translate to a multitude of other things as long as you could spin it. As I always, always say, you can always get an MBA and switch to something else if this is not it. Just note that in relativity to banking and private equity hedge funds, I think do slightly limit your exit ops post career. I think one interesting thing to note before I provide my insight that you guys I'm sure care about, not all hedge funds make money. Many hedge funds actually don't make money. And funny enough, most hedge funds don't beat the S&P 500. So theoretically, if you invested all that money into the S&P 500 ETF, you would probably in the long run make more money. It's really hard to beat that 12% annualized return. However, this annualization also takes into account an average. So there probably were years that many hedge funds, some hedge funds beat the S&P. There is no insane upside to the S&P because the S&P generally typically looks at the market as a whole. Whereas let's say a fund happens to have all their eggs in Zoom the past year somehow, and they made quadruple returns. You couldn't beat that. I would assume no fund probably did that because they want to diversify and get rid of risk. But essentially there is that downside in the sense that it is relatively hard to beat the market. It's hard to time the market, but it's also probably very fun to do so. What I think makes hedge funds exciting, and aside from it being sexy and everyone saying, oh, you're a hedge fund, I think it's the ability to be opinionated and take ownership of that idea and get that idea transformed into a tangible investment thesis and getting that actually transferred into 
money making. And I think being able to take this initiative, then being able to take the first hand at saying, I want to buy this on behalf of the firm and it's going to make money is pretty damn different from the other finance areas. Whereas banking, you're an advisor role, obviously completely different. And it's your job to make your client look good. That's one area. I think private equity, yes, there are opportunities where you kind of go out and search for things as your portfolio company might do add-ons. You're not going out of your way to look for a pepper shaker company with a great management team. It just happens so that things like that come to your table because your private equity fund is known for investing in those kind of companies. Whereas I think there's more of a drive thrill associated with hedge funds because you want to make the best performance. You want to achieve and become the best portfolio manager. And to do that, you got to create good investment ideas on your own with your team. And I think that's what really makes hedge funds exciting. Thanks everyone for making it this far in the video as always. These are just my thoughts based on my research, my understanding of the field and my perception based on billions. Just kidding. Kind of. Team Axelrod. See you guys next week.